How can we use the light of Zohar to turn all the aviot we have acquired into zakut, into purity? All in all, you can't really turn the paper and the letters into something that will help you. You have to actualize it or to implement it in the group. And that's why while reading, if you come to the reading with a deficiency, it already becomes an action. But if there is no deficiency, what action can happen there? Upon what will it go through that action? What will it work upon? That's why what we need is, first of all, think about the goal. As much as we want it, and if we don't, so turn to the group and demand the greatness of the goal from them. After you do get the greatness of the goal, so try and see again what will help us attain it. And then turn to the group again, because in the group is where you can receive it by that general light that reforms, meaning also the place where I actually implement it, also that quality that I have to attain, the reforming light that illuminates, it's all in the center of the group. That's where is, the point is that through it I go into the spiritual dimension. We've done a lot. We exerted a lot as much as the Creator led us. And that we did. But there's a time for scattering our stones and there's time to collect the stones. There's time for dissemination and time for inner gathering of the Kavana. Well, now we have to do. But again, it's all in a group, in its internality. That's how we do it. No other place. During the recent period, we were actually talking about the necessity for connection, the necessity for the group and the Creator. Can we consider that as success? I think that success should be felt in the right vessel. The right vessel is the common vessel where we connect as one man in one heart in the form of our vut, mutual guarantee where the Creator can be revealed. That is success. And that is what we need to pay attention to constantly and yearn for and not anything else. That period, you want a sign of success, a clear indication of what success is, then envision it that way. <laughs> 